Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Hi guys, my name is uh, Andy Jones. I'm a psychic medium and demonologist. I've come to Audley Edge. Lovely cows there. Let's have a walk around and see if we get any activity while I'm here. Um, it's quite an active place. Try and rotate the camera to get me on. Let it touch. Quite an active place. It's only me out here tonight. Uh, there's no other team members. I'm on my own. Uh, middle of nowhere. Pitch park, as you can see. So the camera's going to be facing forward. Um, I will be talking. I'm mic'd up. So I will be communicating and let you know if I pick up anything. All right, guys. Let's have a good night. So later guys, guys, it is pitch black. If I turn my head torch off and turn the camera light off. So the camera light's on, turn the camera light off. There you go. That's what I'm seeing. That's how dark it is here. Pitch black. Put my head torch back on. Gives me a bit of light. I have also got, let's put this light back on for you. I've also got a torch with me need to illuminate something then i can put the torch on it but as from team members i would say it's just me it is just me in the physical sense but there is something following us and there is something trying to come through something quite um interesting i've had before now oldly edge yeah, that's the gate squeaking bit of a spooky noise isn't it oldly edge is one of three places where they say you can get off a He's buried, okay. Um, some people believe that, some people don't. I've had many encounters with many different things where people have actually witnessed um, the sighting. All these bugs, these are just bugs flying about because of the lights. I've witnessed um, sightings of allegedly King Arthur. Um, we'll see. That's one down there. Yeah. I am possible it's an uh, aluminous jacket. So it is quite an active place, very active place. Um, I've been here on my own, well, so on my own. I've been invited up here a few times with a um, to do to basically being a demonologist over there i can summon demons and send demons back over now every now and then you get the odd group up here who are quite responsible and like doing the satanic rituals to say the least they'll invite me along to make sure said ritual is done correctly and the fact that whatever's been brought through for that ritual is sent back and i'll make sure that's the case I wouldn't do it otherwise, and I only work with certain groups, groups I can trust. I've had people contact me with absolute screwballs. I wouldn't. It's not for millions on days. Okay, I'm turning the camera around because I've got footsteps behind me. Hopefully that's picked up on camera. We'll carry on. So over the edge, it's um, in Cheshire, not far from Manchester Airport. Now, legend is King Arthur, one of three places where King Arthur is buried. Now... There's, there's myth and legend about King Arthur. Some people say he's real, some people say he's, he's dumb. He isn't, I should say. Now, the legend of King Arthur comes from sightings of the wizard Merlin at this location. Hence, the pub, if you know the location, is a pub called the Wizard, which is sadly closed down. That's named after Merlin. Now, the story goes a farmer coming out to the marketplace to sell his horse, and he's walking past Old Edge. And this old, uh, old man with his big scraggly beard comes up to him and says, I'll buy your horse off you. And he says, no, I'll go to the marketplace and I'll, I'll sell a horse there, thank you. So he goes to the marketplace, doesn't sell his horse. Walking back up the edge, 
the man approaches him again and says, I see you didn't buy, sell your horse. I'll buy your horse off you. I'll give you whatever you wish. So he sells him his horse. He goes, follow me. He takes him to a cave. And in that cave, all these riches, all these gold, silver gems are on the floor. And all these nights are sleeping, apart from one night without a horse. So he says, why hasn't that knight got a horse? And who are these knights? He said, these are King Arthur's knights. And they ride when the country needs them. But that knight needs a horse, hence your horse. So we went down to the village with all these treasures and all these gold, and everyone come up looking for it. Never found the cave. Even to this day, you get people coming looking for it. Now, this spot we're looking at now, a bit muddy here, but be careful. This is where the rituals have taken place. It's quite a uh, turn my torch out. Quite a magical place. I can't see you can see. It's quite a magical place. I've been here with my team members where it was, a, it was a weird situation, paranormal experience team. I was up here doing an investigation and we stood where I'm stood now. Actually a bit further over. We stood here and we put equipment on the floor. Didn't touch the equipment, did not move. We stood here, then looked to the left and realised the equipment was over there. We somehow moved from there to here without moving and there was three of us here and we didn't move. So we've done it again. And it happened again. So, theory is, is there still a time lapse in that in that area? Is there some kind of portal that we, we stumbled across and fell through in a sense and come back on the other side in a way? So the, the edge is, sorry for my camera work, it's on a gimbal, but hopefully it's a bit steadier. Now I'm just walking up to the edge itself. I was going to go live, but obviously the signal in the edge is completely ridiculous, so can't go live. And it's snowing and it's raining, typical. So, let's see what happens. Hopefully this kit's waterproof. I mean, the electrical kit might cost plenty. If you hear me wheezing along, it's uh, I'm asthmatic. I've got an inhaler in my pocket. Sometimes I sound like a Dalek having a bit. Okay. When you're watching this over, guys, if you see something I don't, please comment. You know, no one, I never say to anyone, oh, you made that up. Oh, it's ridiculous. You didn't see that. It's not the case. You might see plenty of that, which I might not have picked up on. I work with a guy called Martin Alley. Links to Spirit Seekers, as well as uh, entering on and Paranormal Experience. Now, me and Martin and Wendy with Links to Spirit Seekers, there's the view over there, there's Manchester, Manchester Airport and the farmlands over there. We um, believe in power unity, so we support each other. So if someone comes to me and says, Andy, I saw such and such, but I didn't see it, I won't say you're making it up, because who am I to say that? View. Fantastic location, absolutely love it here. It's a brilliant location. I am conscious of the battery life, guys. I've got a power bank, but it's going to be a bit tricky um, doing that. Holding this and holding the power bank and holding the torch. Now, Ugly Edge, yeah, there's, there's lots of rooms, lots of myths, lots of legends. One of them is. Oh, fireworks over there. Like a get very distracted very easily. If people who know me personally know full well, I get very distracted. Turn that out, turn my torch off, turn my head torch off. There you go. See if you see the fireworks. I've got a male whispering in my right ear telling me to uh, be gone. There is actual words be gone, so interesting where that mail where that mail's from. Yeah, so one of the uh, legends is um, that witches on the small part of the edge, which is that way, some walk, were thrown off the edge. And if they hit the floor, they're innocent. If they flew off, they're guilty. So of course, every single witch who was thrown off was 
innocent. Unfortunately, they uh, met a uh, horrible demise. So, okay, I'm looking around because I do know I've been up here a few times of a night. I do know sometimes you get the odd group of kids up here in the uh, Let's just say, um, out the head on alcohol, on uh, legal substances. So I'm just making sure there's not anyone. But I can say that there's no contamination. And he knows. He's... If anyone's with us now, please speak into this device I'm holding. It's a camera, it won't hurt you. Speak into it, please. Make yourself known. Love, peace, and respect. My name's Andy. I'm here to communicate with you. I'm not here to mock, not here to intimidate, to communicate. Speak into this device. Love, peace, and respect. Camera's just gone blurry. Sorry, just remove that. That happened. What the hell? Do that again. Camera went out of focus like it was trying to focus on something. Do that again, please. Affect the camera like that. Affect the camera. Anyone watching this, as you can see, you've seen a load of orbs. There's insects around because of the light. That was an insect, and also it is snowing or hailing, whatever it is. So you are seeing a lot of white things going past the camera. People over there to the right. Where I'm going now, we've had uh, lots of um, activity as a team. We investigated um, a couple of years back. It was during COVID when uh, we had a break from the government, so we could um, start going out again. We never done anything during COVID because we, we stuck to that restriction. But during the break, we came out and we chose this location because it's an external location, so it's easier to control the, um, the infection control in a sense because it's open. And we came here and we investigated it and we got lots of activity on this path and walking now it was using a night vision camera heat sorry heat heat vision heat sensor camera and he picked up a male walking down this path towards us now it was me um the team from entering and on that there was a lot of us me and a few members we ran down the path to see now it was around about this time of year as well so the leaves were down so it's quite hard to creep about without just crumpling some leaves but we didn't hear any leaves move and we ran down here and we couldn't find whoever stood here. It was a fantastic um, encounter. Now, as I'm walking now, this is, I believe, is a portal. It always gets colder here. And this tree is amazing. And it's further on. It looks so different in the dark. So much different. Before I started recording, um, I know this place at the back of me, I believe it or not. I parked up, got out of the car, walked into the edge. Thought it'd be okay. Got lost. My torch is dimming. Brand new, brand new batteries. Um, we have gone past it. There's a stone circle. That's weird. Did we go past it? This tree with a bizarre looking branch. I've asked team members to stand under that tree. It always feels like being strangled. Very interesting. Look closer. You can see. We'll start building a video. 
I'm we'll starting to build like a lean to then. Yeah, the leaves, when I say to you, it was hard for anyone to run through the leaves without being hit. That's made us walking, not running. This person or this entity disappeared sharpish. No one knows why this uh, circle has been put here. Circle of stones, no one knows. What I do know is still witchy circles that come to the edge. I'm still practicing this location in this circle. So it is good energy in this circle. But I do believe going back a couple hundred years, it wasn't good energy in this circle. Interesting bit of twine, bit of rope, small bit of rope, why is that there? There is some names etched onto this rock. If I do come across anything that's offensive, I do apologise. Obviously I don't see it until the camera sees it. Back at the beginning again. Fantastic location. I'm going to keep walking. I'm trying to get as much into the can. The weather, um, I checked the weather before coming out and it did say expecting storms, but it didn't mention anything about bloody snow and hail. And so I'll try and stay a bit under the canopy, the trees, keep a bit dry. There is one place I want to try and get to, which is a bit treacherous to get to during the day. So during the night, um, if I get a chance, I will go. And it will be more treacherous. Um, if I can find my way, because it looks completely different in the dark as it does in the day. As you can understand. Do it. If I fall, please uh, do me a favour, not laugh. And please, if you don't, if you're going to do this yourself, come back to a location like this. When it comes to a location, if you're 100% sure you know your way around, don't get me wrong, it's dark, so it's um, it's a little bit misleading. I'm, I've still got a good idea where I am and where I'm going. I'm not going to go wandering into the woods with a camera and a torch. I think it's okay to just bugger off somewhere. Um, please be safe. 
my other half isn't with me at the moment. She doesn't know where I am. I text her when I got here in the car, and I'll text her when I leave. So I'll check in. So if I didn't check in by morning, for example, then obviously alarm bells will be raised. Please come through, communicate with us. I'm wearing a small microphone. It's on my chest. Got a green light. Say something into that, please. Or make yourself known in front of the camera. Can't really do it without a torch. It's too dodgy. There has been, unfortunately, a fair few suicides in this location. There's been a fair few deaths over the years. Um, and there has been some uh, murders in this location. Sorry, I just got a stabbing in my chest, and I mean a hard stabbing in the chest. Someone just sunk something into my chest. Was that you affecting me then? Was that you putting your pain on me? Was that you affecting me? Let the camera please, love, peace and respect. I've got uh, the head torch, hand torch, and the torch on the phone. Um, it's recording this on the gimbal. And my device is... My devices are um, struggling to... Sorry, someone's taking my concentration here. Um, the torches are struggling. My concentration is struggling. It's like someone's trying to put me off from talking. This is a sketchy part where sometimes full during the day, never mind night time, would you know? Dogs barking in the distance. Very sketchy, this. As you can see what time it is in a day, it's going to be much as I wake up. Yeah. 1924 and 28. So half past seven and it's pitch black. I purposely chose to come out when it's dark, not because of the um, spooky um, ambience, if you want to call it, uh, more because it's quieter. It's quite a busy place with dog walking, and you don't get many dog walks here. Night time, unless you get the hardcore ones, uh, stupid like me. Where we're going to is a place known as the Witch's Cave. I'll get on there. So the fresh running water, constantly, from a um, pool. 
if you love to drink, you're not going to do it at the moment because I'm freezing cold and it's freezing cold water. Also, also my dad's ashes were scattered here, so my dad, okay. Fantastic location. Not the witch's cave, allegedly a witch lived in that cave. That's my breath. I'm going to walk this way, I'm going to probably encounter some people, so. Yeah, guys. Hello. Hello, you okay? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Just be careful, it gets really Money. muddy back there. Oh, we know. Can I ask, guys, do you walk here often? No, I'm just coming up to um, just see do the wells. wells. Okay. All it is, I'm recording, it's not live, is that okay? Uh, for me, no. No, so. no problem.